Hey everyone. So today we are going to be working on our upper bodies. We're going to be focusing on our biceps, our triceps, our shoulders, our back, a little bit of chest work. Um, you are going to need a set of preferably light dumbbells. We're going to be using them for a lot. Um, of workouts and you're going to be holding them for long periods of time. So I just don't want you to fatigue yourself But if you're feeling strong, you can use a medium set You can always drop the weight and body weight is always an option We have three circuits. We're going to focus on today um, Each one we're gonna go through twice 45 seconds of work so a little bit longer than we're used to and then our third circuit is going to be 60 seconds of work, but it's only gonna be two, uh, two moves. So we are going to get started here um, with a warm up. If you just wanna start with some forward shoulder rolls, they don't have to be big. You can hold your arms up like golf balls. I'm kind of keeping my hands loose at the sides and go backwards, really lubricate those joints. You are gonna need it today. Perfect. And then from here, we're just going to do um, some tricep stretches. So what it's going to look like, it's going to go forward and back, keep a tight fist. You're going to reach your arms all the way back, go kind of as far back as you can reach. And then from there, you're going to reverse and push back as far as you can. Beautiful. So we're just going to go back, keep that tight fist, keeping those elbows tight for those body, close to your body. This is gonna lubricate a different part of our shoulder here. You can do like little tiny pulses to get a little bit of an extra stretch. A few more seconds, then we're just gonna drop down into a modified wide push-up. So if you wanna meet me on the ground here, knees on the ground, your hands are gonna be wider than shoulder width. I'm gonna move back here so you can see. And just take it nice and slow and push back, keeping our, um, our glutes really, really tight. So as you go down, we're not dropping that pelvis. Now I'm not worried about you getting like a push up. I'm worried about you getting that stretch. Three, two, one. All right, so while you guys take just a quick break here, I'm gonna go through our first circuit. So like I said, if you have a set of preferably light weights, cause you're gonna be holding them for a long time or you can go for a medium weight, you can always change your weight. Drop the weight, go to body weight only, your preference. So our first circuit is, like I said, three workouts, twice through, 45 seconds a piece. I'm gonna go through what the workouts are, then we're gonna do them together. Our first is going to be a hinged lat pull down with our weights. So you're gonna stand feet, hip width apart, tuck that pelvis in, roll your shoulders back, bend at the knees, you're gonna hinge at your hips, and then keeping your palms facing forward, you're going to reach up and forward, kind of biceps by your ears, and then pull down by your sides. You're gonna stay here, and that's a lat pull down. That's gonna focus your back, your chest. That's also why I said kind of a light weight, because right here, with a heavy weight, that's really gonna activate your core. So that's our first workout. Second are gonna be walnut crushers but with our weights. We've done these before. You're going to, you can stand, I'm kneeling, just so you can see. Arms, 90 degree angles. Keeping your weights with your palms facing forward. You're gonna squeeze forward and then squeeze back. So you're gonna kinda just squeeze, squeeze, like you have a walnut in your shoulder blades and you're crushing them. You're gonna do that. You can always drop your weight, but the weight is the advancement. And then after that, we have a slow Arnold boxer punch with our weights. What does that look like? I'm gonna stay down here so you can see me. You can always stand up. So keeping our weights kind of right about chest position, almost kind of like you're a boxer, you know, they keep their fists a little higher up, shoulders rolled back, pelvis tucked like always. And like an Arnold press when we go up, and we twist out, twist back. You're gonna do that with the punch. So you're going to punch out, twist out like a boxer, twist back to your chest with your palms facing your body, twist out so it's facing down towards the ground, back. You're gonna do those nice and slow. 
Those are our three workouts for 45 seconds. Get ready in three, two, one. Let's get started with those lat pull downs and squeeze towards your body. Squeeze, you're making sure you're not arching your back too much, a nice straight back. See how there's not a curve in my back. We're not hinged forward like this. We're not standing up a nice, lat pull down, squeezing at the side. We're about halfway through. Doing this activates your core, your triceps, your back, your shoulders. We have about 15 more seconds. Squeeze, three, two, one. Take a quick shake off. Got about 15 second break. Get yourself ready for those walnut crushers. So you can stand, I'm gonna stay kneeling, because when you kneel, that eliminates the lower half, activates your core. Three, two, one, and squeeze, and squeeze. Now we are doing all these workouts for 45 seconds. The last circuit, like I said, is 60. So take these nice and slow. I'm not worried about you guys getting 100 reps in, going as fast as you can go. I want you to get good form so you're not arching, you're not slacking, you're keeping nice 90 degree angles for everything. Form is important. People go so crazy about form because they don't want you to hurt yourself. The second your form is sacrificed, you wake up the next day and you're like, ooh, I did something wrong. Three, two, one, drop those weights. You can give your wrists a little shake out. We are gonna finish with those Arnold boxer punches. So again, you can stand, you can kneel to eliminate that bottom half of your body to activate your core more. I think I'll stand for these. Three, two, one, and punch, and back, punch, and back. Now you're staying about, about chest height. You're not punching low, you're not going too high. Nice and straight, keeping those knees just a little bit bent. Our shoulders are rolled back. I know they're probably starting to get a little bit tired. Exhaling on that punch. <sighs> Inhaling on the way back. <sighs> that punch activates that core right there. <sighs> Bending a little bit at our knees. We don't wanna lock our knees out. <sighs> if you want a little bit more of oblique work, you can do more of a twist, like a crossover. That's fine. Three, two, and one. Beautiful, 15 seconds, we have that whole thing one more time through. 45 seconds is not that long. Look at how fast this is going. All right, get ready. Don't drop your weights if you can't. We're gonna do those lat pull downs in three, two, one. Shoulders back, hinge at the hips, and biceps by your elbows, or by your ears. <laughs> biceps by your ears, elbows tight to the side when you pull down. Exhale on that squeeze. Inhale out, activate that core. Exhale, squeeze. Now take these, like I said, nice and slow. You have 45 seconds. And when you're doing here and you kind of hold it, you get that little shake, right? You're feeling a little bit of the shoulders. Roll those shoulders back. We have about 15 more seconds. Do you feel that in your triceps already? Holy moly. Four, three, two, one. Don't drop those weights if you can. Stand on your feet, go on your knees. We have those walnut crushers, however you wanna do them. We're just focusing on our back. You can even do these sitting crisscross if you like. I don't mind. Roll those shoulders back. Weights up, 90 degrees. And crunch, and crunch. When we're doing these, we're not arching our backs like this. Keep those butt cheeks squeezed. Keep that pelvis forward. That's gonna help really activate your back. You should never ever feel lower back pain or any lower back activation unless we're working your lower back. If you're doing your arms, your legs, your hips, whatever, you should not be feeling that your lower back. Whew, squeeze, squeeze. Holding these weights up too, whew. That's a little bit of a challenge. My shoulders are already on fire, whew. 10 more seconds and then you get one more workout and then we have a quick break for the other circuit. Three two, one, whoo, drop those for a second if you need. I held on to mine. We have those slow Arnold boxer punches. I love these. Get ready, three, two, one, 
And we are punching and punching. Exhale. Exhale, punch. Inhale, back rack. Now keeping, like I said, you're holding the weights kind of neutral right at your waist. Punching right kind of where your chest is. It helps when you're looking at yourself in the camera because you're like, oh, I can see precisely where I need to punch. These are waking up your shoulders. That nice twist is going to get that whole wrap on that shoulder. You should feel real good after these. If you need to drop the weights, like I said, keep a tight fist. You are still going to work these muscles with or without weights. The weights just add a little bit of an advancement. Three, two, one. You can drop the weights. You have a quick break here. I am going to go over the next circuit while you catch your breath, maybe. Roll those shoulders out, they got a lot of love. So, our next circuit, same thing, 45 seconds of work, we're only going through the circuit twice, three workouts. So, we did those Arnold Press punches. Now we're going into the Arnold Press. I love these. We're gonna stay kneeling for these because like I said, getting rid of that bottom half of your body activates more of your core. So, you're gonna front rack your weights, palms facing you inwards and then you're going to press outward, twisting that weight so your palms forward, back to the center, twisting the weight out, back to center. We're gonna alternate these. So you're gonna do just an alternating Arnold press. You can always drop your weight and do just a tight fist. After that, we have hammer curls to tricep press backs with weights. So feet again, about hip width apart. You're gonna sit a little bit in your knees roll those shoulders back, hinge at the hips, and these you're gonna squeeze forward and back. So when you squeeze forward, nice little hammer curl, kind of right by your shoulders, and then you're going to push back with those triceps. You're gonna do these for 45 seconds. Again, if you're not using weights, keep a really tight fist, but make sure you get that squeeze on the way up for the hammer curl for your biceps, push back on the way back for your triceps. After that, we just have lateral arm raises. So you're gonna stay standing, feet a little more than hip width apart, roll those shoulders back, and then keeping your weights right about shoulder height, we're not going too high, and keeping just a little bit of a bend in the elbow. You see that? I'm not, you're not going totally straight out. Keep like a nice little bend in that elbow to help those weights. We have those for 45 seconds, two times through. You have about 10 more seconds of break. So we're gonna get ready for those Arnold presses. Get down and kneel with me. Three, two, one, front rack those weights and press up and forward, press up and forward. Exhale on that press, <sighs> inhale on the front rack back down. <sighs> Again, we're squeezing our butt cheeks so we're not arching our back. Squeezing our butt cheeks is a great way to tuck our pelvis when you're not really sure how, and to activate our core. I love a good arm to press. Roll those shoulders back if you start to get tired. It doesn't uh, hurt to every time you front rack, roll those shoulders back again. Front rack, roll them back just to make sure you have nice, good form. Four, three, two, one, and keep those weights in your hands. We have those hinged hammer curls with a tricep pushback. So get ready. Feet hip width apart, bend at the knees, shoulders back, hinge at your hips, nice straight back. We're not arching our butts. And we're squeezing for a hammer curl, pressing back for a tricep. Whew. Squeeze and press back. Now the thing that's good about going slow as opposed to going fast, you really get that squeeze and hold it. Get that squeeze and hold it. You're getting a ton of work here. <sighs> Exhaling on that tricep pushback. <sighs> Inhaling on the way up. <sighs> You're only bringing those weights kind of right about your shoulders. And keep those elbows really, really tight to your body. And keep them almost like they're on a hinge. So don't like flare your elbows out and like swing them. You're keeping those elbows nice and tight. Three, two, one, keep those weights. We have those lateral arm raises next. So get ready, roll those shoulders back, get yourself loose. Three, two, and one. 
and we have lateral arm raises. <sighs> Exhaling on that squeeze up, inhaling back down. Nice and controlled. Again, we're squeezing our butt, so we're not activating our lower back. <sighs> and we have just the littlest baby bend in our elbows to help bring them up. <sighs> Hold it for, for like just a second. Nice and controlled on the way down. <sighs> Guys, we are a little more than halfway through. <sighs> Look at how fast 45 seconds goes when you take it nice and slow. <sighs> Whew, your shoulders should be on fire. Holy moly. Three, two, one. You can drop those weights really quick. A nice 15 second break before we do the whole thing over again. No changes. We're starting with the Arnold presses. We're gonna kneel for these. Three, two, one. Front rack those weights. Squeeze the butt cheek and press up, back down. Exhale, press up, back down. You're keeping your, your biceps right at your ears. That's always a nice determining mark when you're doing any type of press so that way you're not going too far up, too far back, keeping that bicep right by your ear almost like they're on the same line. So as you lift your bicep, it's going right in line with that ear. Keeping the elbows nice and tight to the body on the way down. Nice controlled on the way down. We're not just dropping the weight. Three, two, get one last one in there. One, and we are gonna stand. We have those hammer curls and those tricep pushbacks with the weights. Get ready. In three, two, one, roll your shoulders back, hinge at the hips, hammer curl, and press back. Whew, your triceps should be really waking up kind of right here in between my biceps and my shoulders. Really feeling the work today. Keeping your gaze neutral, you're not craning your neck up, you're not pushing it down. Maybe like a foot in front of where your toes are. I just keep looking over here because I have my timer going. I want to make sure I'm not overworking you guys. Guys, we have about 10 more seconds. Really squeeze and squeeze and press. Four, three, two, one. Don't drop those weights if you can. If you need to drop the weights that's too heavy, go down to body weight. If you used a medium weight, maybe go down to a light weight. That's totally fine. Get ready for those lateral arm raises. Three, two, one, and go. Whew. Goodness, I don't know about you, but my shoulders are really spicy right now. <laughs> Squeezing with those butt cheeks. And take it up nice and slow so you don't hurt yourself. Sometimes when you go too fast, you risk bad form. Roll those shoulders back. I'm starting to get a little tired, so I gotta get my form down. Wanna have our shoulders nice and away from our ears, rolled up and back. Loosen them down. <sighs> Guys, we have like five seconds left. Don't give up. We have one more circuit and then we cool down. Three, two, one. Oh my goodness. All right, drop those weights. Give your arms a little bit of a shake out, your wrists, your fingers, a little bit of a shake out. We have one more circuit. Think of this as your finisher because we're only doing it two times through like we normally did, but it's only two workouts, but for 60 seconds. So it's gonna be two straight minutes of work, get a little break, two straight minutes of work, and then we cool down. So what we are going to do, I'm gonna lower y'all down here because we are gonna get on the floor. So our first workout is going to be a hand release push-up. You can do these modified on your knees or on your toes. It's going to be a regular tricep push-up, so keeping your hands kind of close to your chest. What that's going to look like, I'm going to do it on my knees. So hands, shoulder width apart. You're going to drop yourself all the way down to the ground. Lift your hands really quick and then pushing yourself back up. That quick hand release makes you kind of restart from the very beginning and using your full biceps and triceps to push yourself up. 
So that's our first. If you don't want to do the hand release, just do a regular tricep push-up. And then from here, you are going to stay down on the ground. We are going to do some chest presses. So laying with your back on the ground, your feet and hip width apart. We're not arching our back, remember, back's nice and flat. And with your palms forward, you are going to press the weights up, hold them there for just a second, slow and controlled back down about 90 degrees. You don't want to drop your biceps to the ground. See how they're touching? I want them to stay up the whole time. <sighs> Exhaling on that chest press up. We have those for 60 seconds. So get ready. We have one straight minute of work. Get ready for those quick release push-ups in three, two, one. I'm running out of workspace here. I have my weights everywhere. Slow yourself down. Quick release of your hands. Push yourself back up. Keeping your, your butt tucked. You're not like doing a worm like that. I want you to quick release using all of that arm work, that tricep work to push yourself back up. I know when you're tired, you kind of want to like slug and snake and shimmy your way back up. Use that work. Take it nice and slow. Inhaling on the way down. Exhaling on that push up. Guys, we are already more than halfway through. We have like 20 seconds left. Good news is it's only the two workouts, so you don't have a third one. Ooh, I dropped my hips a little bit there. That's no good. 10 seconds. Nice little five, four, three, two, one. Shake those arms out really quick. Get yourselves ready for that chest press. I'm upping my weights a little bit more for these. I have a little bit more strength in my chest. You can stay with a light weight. You can do body weight. You can just make a nice tight fist whatever you feel like. So get ready, lower yourself down, get your weights in three, two, one, and press, inhale on the way up, inhale on the way down, nice and controlled. <sighs> Keeping the weights kind of right above your chest level. We're not going like too far above our heads. It's called a chest press, so keep it nice and right above your chest, really squeezing all those muscles. <sighs> Taking these nice and slow. We are already about halfway through. <sighs> Whew, my arms are tired. <sighs> Do not let your tiredness mess up your form. <sighs> we have one minute of these, so take these nice and slow. These are hard to talk and teach at the same time. Guys, about 15 more seconds left. Ooh, I might drop the weights for the next time through. These are heavy. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop those weights safely. Roll them out of your way. Get a nice shake out of those wrists. We have that whole thing one more time through. And then we cool down. So let me... Weasel those heavy weights out of here. I am definitely dropping weight for the second time through. Whew, my arms are tired. All right, we worked that chest. Time to work those shoulders and biceps again. Nice, good chest work for this last circuit. I love working chest. Three, two, one. Lower yourself nice down slow. Quick release. Pushing yourself back up. Holy smokes, those are tired after those. Those are hard after those chest presses. Exhaling on the way up. Oh my goodness, take these so slow. My arms are so tired, they are jelly right now. But you know what? After you're done with these, your arms are gonna feel so good. Your chest and your biceps and your shoulders are gonna look great. Guys, whew, 20 more seconds. You've got this. Holy smokes, my triceps are on fire. I'm tired too, I know you guys are. Five, four, give me one last one. Three, two, oh my God, one. <laughs> Stretch that out, flip 
flip over, no big break for the chest press. Lower yourself down and press towards the sky. Wow, those are so light after my last ones. <laughs> Tilt your pelvis forward. We don't have an arched back like that. Make sure your back's nice and flat on the ground. Exhaling on that push up. Inhaling on that control down. And you're doing like a nice, slow, controlled, so you can do it this way, kind of like this. You're not like bringing your elbows up here. I know when you say 90 degrees, it feels like you should do that when you're laying down, but look at how far my elbows are above my head. Keep those elbows right by your chest, kind of right by the front of your chest. That's a good determining factor to make sure you're not flaring out too much. Guys, we have six seconds. Three, two, one. Whew. All right. We are cooling down. I know you need it. So wherever you're at, you can stand, you can sit. We're just going to do a tricep stretch overhead. So taking our right arm, put it over our head, taking our left hand on the back of our right elbow and just giving it a little bit of an extra pull. Taking nice big breaths into that side body. And wiggle it out, switch to the other side. So left elbow in the sky, right hand on your left elbow. And only kind of push it back as far as it can go. I'm not looking for you to completely get your arm totally behind your head. Three, two, one. Shake them out. I'm just gonna stay down here, you can stand. We just have a chest stretch. So, linking your hands behind your back like this, kind of holding, clasping your fingers together. You're gonna hinge forward at the hips and then just bring those arms as far, as far, forward, as far forward as you can. You can stand, you can kind of bend into this. Really stretching not only that back, that shoulder blades, but your chest as well. You can stand and do this. Only go as far forward as you can. If you start to feel a little tingle, a little pinch, loosen it up. Don't go as far back. Shake those arms out. We are just going to do a low cobra to stretch out our chest. So bring yourself onto our bellies. Tent your fingertips really wide, um, kind of parallel with your chest. Bring yourself up to a little cobra position and then flaring those elbows out and really lowering yourself like a noodle and kind of just slithering yourself up and down. Really get that chest stretch, that back stretch. Kind of nice and a little wave motion like a snake. And one more. Staying down here, we are gonna finish with my favorite arm stretch. We're gonna do a side cactus stretch. So hands and arms 90 degrees out from your body. You're going to tent your right arm just a little higher. Push your left hand to your chest and then pushing yourself over if you need extra leverage. Hoist that left foot over your left leg. And the closer you are to your chest, the more you push, the more stretch you're gonna get in that right shoulder. One more big breath. Slowly lower yourself back down to the center. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So tent that left arm a little higher than, it, um, than 90 degrees. Push that right hand close to your chest and then hoist and roll yourself over. Taking nice big breaths here, breathing into that chest, that shoulder. Imagine where you're breathing is the muscle that you need to stretch out. And roll yourself back to center. You guys, that is it. We are finished. You did a great job. I hope you feel really good. You can come back to this whenever you want. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.